I finally decided it's time to tech up, so I'm getting a spire for air and an infestation pit to get to the uh, hive tech. Since I know, since my last foray, I noticed that we were going to get battle cruisers, and I don't think I know that they were dark templars coming. Ah, yes, finally broken down the first set of rocks. And he's going to put a pylon right in the middle where a nexus should go. Ooh, and we've got Paul trying to get a mothership. That's expensive. Uh, looks like Spartan's getting some carriers of his own. Yep, there they are. And it looks like we're going to... Oh, no, we've already got this expansion going. Missed him taking that. Uh, i got to get another base because I'm... <laughs> I've only got 2,600 minerals. It's always good to expand while you can. Oh, we got another nidus worm producing. Where are we producing? Ah! I know he's trying to expand, and I will have none of it. See, this should, these two buildings should be swapped. I'll take care of that. I'll move it for him. So we'll just take care of that, and then... Oh, I see those guys coming. Pull him back to my overseer and engage. But it doesn't look like I had enough. Yeah, he had enough. He had more than enough to take care of that. Looks like Spartan's getting his own mothership. We've got dueling Protoss here. You build a carrier, I'll build a carrier. You build a mothership, I'll build a mothership. And I am going to be rebuilding my infantry. What is that, the fourth time? Looks like we might have Dale trying to expand here. Or maybe the SCP is just going to flex his arm appendages. Uh, looks like I'm finally getting up to my hive tech. We're producing it. I'm not producing any air units yet. How's the income doing? Looks like we've got Dela with the best income, followed a little closely by me. I could use a bit more mineral income to keep up, but you know, I've got plenty of reserve, so I think we'll be okay. Spartan's not doing so well with his income, but. Got an expansion. Is his main mind? Oh, yeah, his main's getting pretty scarce. That's probably why. Oh! We've got Dela on two expansions. Oh, that one's already saturated. So Dela is doing quite fine. And we have Battle Cruisers operational. Apparently, whoa. Apparently, watching over this fledgling command center. Overseeing its construction. And we've got another attempt at this expansion. Oh, but we have a uh, another uninvited guest keeping an eye on things. Because that's just the way changelings roll. I'm not doing anything about it yet. That's a lot of battle cruisers. I don't have anything for this. Does Spartan have anything for this? Not much. Three carriers and two void rays are not going to do much against that many battle cruisers. So basically, if those things hit us right now, we are toast. And there are still more on the way. Almost all the missile turrets. Someone's defending his expansion. Oh, we got Dark Templar into Spartan's expansion. I'm really not sure where they're going. I guess they figured it would be more dramatic if they started from the back of the base and worked their way forward. Oh, 
Oh, when a zealot bites the dust. Ooh, but the mothership's in here to uh, mask. Oh, and we got an observer, so these Dark Templar are not going to last long. So that attack was averted. Apparently I didn't realize that this base was past these rocks. I thought the Axos was maybe from over here or something. Oh, I got another Nidus Worm popping up. Because this expansion is back and I'll have none of it. Are we ready to unload? Here comes the next infantry. Most likely only to be wiped out yet again. Oh, this one's a little bit bigger, though. <laughs> and my partner in crime, Spartan, has no idea what it was he just killed. He just saw something and he just started shooting. Fortunately, it wasn't somebody's grandmother. Maybe it was. I don't know. Do they have female Dark Templar? I'm sure they do. Now we're prepared for them this time. Not so much prepared for the carriers. Or maybe we are. Focus down the carriers and then this void ray will be yeah, and then the void ray will be gone. So I finally have an infantry that actually survived. And now we're going to take care of some cleanup efforts. No, sorry, you have no chance. Apparently upset about something. Oh, that's what I'm upset about. <laughs> Battle cruisers. So we are going to start churning out corruptors because I have nothing for this. What do we got here? Three, six, eight battle cruisers. But I've got corruptors on the way. But I don't have any out on the map yet. And I don't know what it is about coming in from the back door, although I suppose at this point it's strategic, so I don't drop any ground beneath him. Oh, and this expansion's about... To, oh, he's gonna Yamato. He's gonna Yamato. Apparently Yamato doesn't do much to that. Oh, here come the Corruptors, just in the nick of time. One battle cruiser goes down. Another goes down. Another goes down. Oh, he's focusing on the ground army. You need to be focusing on the corruptors. Those are the ones that are taking you out. And they're firing. Go, corruptors. Go. Oh, another battle cruiser bites the dust. But I am quickly running out of units to do something. We lay down a corruption. Anything we can do to stop it. Oh, they modeled the queen. That's just no respect. And Paul comes in and sucks everybody into a parallel dimension. And then the, his mothership's gone. And then the final battle cruiser's gone. Of course, I didn't even realize that these were Spartans' carriers. I thought they were Paul's, which would explain why I thought they killed each other. So, ignore that remark. I was too busy trying to defend myself to see whose forces were over my base. Or at least what's left of it. So I'm going to try to salvage these larvae before they die. Got a lone corruptor here. Like, I heard there's some battle cruisers here. I don't see any battle cruisers. I'm quite disappointed. And he's gonna go sulk off because he was promised battle cruisers and there were none. And I'm gonna get my expansions back because I really need them because this base is 100 minerals and 700 gas. And I need to get up a corruptor force because one 
is not enough. Oh, three. Still not enough. Spartan's going to counterattack the Terran. Doing a fairly good job, too. Taking out those missile turrets, which are a lot more effective in StarCraft 2 than they were in StarCraft 1. You don't want to mess with those if you don't have to. And this expansion is desperately getting up useless missile turrets. And the mothership blasts away, and then the command center's down. Oh! But here comes more battle cruisers. This would be a good place for a vortex. Oh, and they're going to focus down that mothership as fast as they can. And now the carriers are vulnerable. And Paul is going to come in with some Archons. Oh, some of these battle cruisers are pretty weak. If he can find... Yeah, and there goes another. The carriers are running out. Pretty good job, though. It didn't take them all out, but that is a lot of damage. Meanwhile, I've got my expansions back up online, and the Corruptors are producing. Let's check the units lost. Looks like... Dela and myself are the ones taking the biggest hits. Spartan took a lot of unit hits, but really, resource cost was pretty minimal, it looks like. Oh, but we got another, we got some carriers coming in. But they are not going to like coming in to, oh, we got something else going on here too. He's got, Paul's got his Archons here. He thinks the carriers are going to help. Not so much. We lay down another corruption, and down goes the carrier. Oh, that's an expensive waste of time. And the Archons are deflected. So that's all she wrote with that, and then this expansion is going up again really quick. Looks like you got those battle cruisers repaired, too. So what's... Yeah, we weren't feeling so hot right now, having all these massive units over our bases, and we had not struck a blow in a long time. But, on the other hand, they're also throwing a lot of expensive units at us. And I continue to mass-produce Corruptors. How many Corruptors do I have here? Why don't we just look at the Units tab? 17 Corruptors. That's a good start. Of course, I'm still trying to pad my infantry. Oh, those are my units. Looks like I'm looks like I'm just going corruptors. That's all I want now. Which is not a bad move if they're just going to go carriers, battle cruisers. I don't think people realize how susceptible the ultimate Terran and Protoss units are against corruptors. Looks like we're putting up. Is he putting up another expansion, or is he going to this one? Looks like he's going to be building another one, because, or they're just going to hang out here and have a SCV party. Oh, looks like I've hidden my overlords back here where they're as safe as possible. Oh yeah, the battle cruisers are coming for Spartan's expansion. But could it be? The flight of the corruptors? They lay down a corruption, focus down one, lay down corruption, focus down another. It's like child's play to a corruptor. I don't think so. Not on my corruptor's watch.